Anchor corrosion is an out of sight, out of mind issue that plagues guide towers all across the country. Over time and in the right conditions, anchors can corrode and ultimately can lead to the tower collapse. Guide towers are secured by anchors that are typically buried below grade and are anchored in concrete blocks. Four essential elements in order for a corrosion cell to function are met by the standard anchor design. These elements are an anode, the anchor shaft, a cathode, the ground rod, an electrolyte, the surrounding soil, and an electrical path between the anode and the cathode. Corrosion is an electrochemical process which over time returns the refined steel back to its native state. The speed of this process depends on conditions within the surrounding soil, such as moisture, pH level, stray electrical current, and the proximity of dissimilar metals. The conductivity of the electrolyte is typically the largest factor that accelerates the corrosion process. In the example of a guide tower anchor, the soil is an electrolyte and the portion of the anchor shaft exposed to the soil is an anode. Soil resistivity varies drastically throughout the globe and can even change down to a matter of inches. The soil resistivity can be measured on site to get a better idea of soil conditions. Zero to 5,000 ohms is considered very corrosive and is typically found in clay type soil in a wet climate, while 5,000 to 10,000 is moderately corrosive and 10,000 to 25,000 is mildly corrosive and is typically found in sandy, rocky, and dry type climates. There are several options to the tower industry to mitigate and eliminate anchor corrosion. Here are a few of the most common practices used. Epoxy coatings can be installed throughout the length of the anchor shaft that acts as an insulator to protect the anchor shaft from direct exposure to the electrolyte. Although this method is beneficial in protecting the anchor, it is proven that even the best epoxy coating cannot guarantee 100% isolation from the current. Accelerated corrosion can begin if anomalies are created at any point in the coating during shipment, installation, or during an anchor inspection. Concrete encasement is when the entire anchor below grade is fully encased in concrete. The concrete has such a high resistivity that it all but eliminates one essential element of the corrosion cell, and there is no anode-cathode relationship on the shaft itself. The disadvantage with encasement occurs if the concrete cracks or breaks away. When this happens, accelerated corrosion can begin from the water in the soil that fills the cracks, and it becomes difficult to inspect due to being encased in concrete. Anode cathodic protection is when sacrificial anodes are installed below grade at each anchor point. The anodes sacrifice themselves to protect the anchor shaft. A wire is attached to the inner core of the anode and is designed to be bonded electrically to the member that is to be protected, which is the anchor shaft. These systems need to be monitored regularly with a voltmeter by a test head or half cell to ensure the system is operating properly and to detect when the anodes have been dissolved. The only way to truly see the severity of the corrosion on the anchor shaft is to fully expose it by excavation. Typically, the corrosion is most severe at the lower depths near the anchor block. In order to determine which sites need full excavation, various items need to be taken into consideration in order to rate each site's important, such as the tower's age, previous anchor inspection findings, surface inspection findings, soil resistivity, and whether or not the anchors have any type of corrosion control currently installed. Oh,